Welcome to the many interpretations of Dinotherium. Dinotherium was a large elephant relative that had a pretty huge range with fossils being found in Africa, Eurasia, and the Indian subcontinent. They are also relatively recent, going extinct in the early Pleistocene, which is around a million years ago. They are also very cool and fascinating proboscideans. Not quite elephants, but still looking very similar to elephants, despite having a lot of anatomical features that are different from modern day elephants, like elongated legs and a more flexible neck. Also, what the heck is with those tusks? We have some pretty cool depictions to look at here, um, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. So, yeah, let's do that. First up, we have Journey to the Beginning of Time. So we have a pretty cool looking uh, stop motion Dinotherium. It very much has that whole elephant appearance to it, complete with the long and thin uh, trunk. Now, Dinotherium likely did have a trunk. It does have the proper opening, but of course the opening that it has on its skull is incredibly wide. So it's likely that it had a pretty wide trunk as well, one that's a lot more broad and possibly a lot shorter than uh, what you would find on modern day elephants. So of course this one is likely a little bit too long, but it does have those very strange looking tusks. Modern day elephants do have tusks of course, but theirs do extend from their top jaw, whereas Dinotherium has tusks that extend from its bottom jaw and and curve downwards, which is very strange, but th this isn't even like the beginning of it. There's a lot of elephant relatives that have very strange looking tusks. Dinotherium is simply just a, a good example of that. We'll probably talk a little bit more about those tusks as the video goes on, but all you need to know right now is that this is pretty much what they look like. So this one's pretty good. It seems like the legs are a little bit too short, but overall I think it's a pretty good depiction. After that, there is Land of the Mammoth. We get just a brief little shot of Dinotherium as it's kind of like on a turntable. Uh, it also looks pretty good. Maybe has a little bit too long of a trunk. I don't know if we know the exact size of the trunk. That is something that would be difficult to determine uh, because of the fact that that is something that does not really fossilize. Like, it's very difficult to find something like that in a fossil record. Uh, you just have the opening of where a trunk was likely present, and that's about it, you know, so... I, I probably won't talk about it too much, but most modern day depictions will likely make it a little bit shorter. Other than that, though, it looks pretty good. You know, those tusks are present. It's got more so a gray coloration, which is likely pretty common. Elephants are pretty much gray today, so it makes sense to see something like that. It has those very elephant-like ears all around. Pretty cool. Then we have Walking with Beasts. Now, this one is a very good portrayal right here, I think. The legs do seem to be proportionally long. Uh, it does have those very iconic tusks. The trunk is a little bit shorter here. That's what they portrayed it with. Um, and it does look like it would have a neck that's a little bit more flexible. It's also portrayed as being an, an incredibly aggressive animal, as it's like constantly a thorn in the side of the Australopithecus. I like that portrayal. That does certainly make sense for megafauna-like Dinotherium. Um, so I, I'll always like to see portrayals like that, especially considering the fact that it is an herbivorous animal. And most of the time in media or or any such depictions, you'll see herbivorous animals portrayed as, I guess, friendly or just passive. Uh, I'd prefer to see them a little bit more like how herbiv herbivorous animals typically are today, where they are a little bit more aggressive. Like a lot of times in nature, you're probably worse off running into something like a, a hippo or an elephant or a rhino than you are a lion or something like that. So this is a very good depiction. I think that the CGI looks pretty good, and I really like this model. So far, this one is my favorite. After that, we have Out of the Cradle. There's just a brief shot of Dinotherium, which is unfortunate because, and they're also in the distance. A uh, bit unfortunate because these models look fantastic. Uh, the shape of Dinotherium is present, so you can very much tell it's Dinotherium. That's about it. Um, so this is a good spot to talk about what those tusks were potentially used for. Modern day elephants, they have a few different uses for tu their tusks. One of those uses is to like strip bark off of branches. It's possible that Dinotherium would have used them for that as well or something similar to that. Uh, their tusks do notably have a lot of wear on them, which implies that they got some use out of them. So it's possible that they would use like their trunk to pull down branches and they would kind of like just carve uh, or just strip the the the, uh, the bark off of those branches and then it would be an easier way for them to get, get some food. They can also get, you know, some leaves off of those branches because Dinotherium was, it was a browser, of course, but it would spend most of its time eating from the trees, so eating leaves and things like that. So having tusks like that would probably be very beneficial. You know, it would just help get most of the foliage off of there. And then, of course, you'd just be able to eat it from that point on. As for the depiction, looks good. 
Just too bad we haven't seen too much of it. When Whales Walked. We have this pretty cool looking fella right here. Again, that sort of gray coloration. We have the tusks on the, the lower jaw, the trunk that is very broad at the base, but then it kind of thins out, which is probably a pretty fair depiction right there. Uh, interestingly, some pr relatively short ears. The legs seem to be pretty good, and the whole body seems to have that whole bulk that you would expect from a Dinotherium. Uh, I also really like the details of these sort, like the different colors of gray or black that are kind of mixed in. Really kind of makes it feel naturalistic, as it's something that you would likely see in modern day uh, proboscid proboscideans like like elephants. So I call that another good one. So that that point on, we'll move on to the video games. Where first in Jurassic World, the game. We have this one that, oddly enough, kind of seems a little bit stubby to me, at least any time I use it in the game. It kind of feels like it's a lot shorter than any other, um, you know, creature that you're you're playing against in the game, like in the battles and whatnot, which is interesting because Dinotherium, it was a pretty big, it was a pretty big fellow. Like one of the larger species, Dinotherium giganteum, had a shoulder height of around 13 feet, like up to 13 feet. Uh, but of course, no slouch. That is pretty pretty big overall tall animals and it just feels like it's not really portrayed in Jurassic World the game unless I'm getting things skewed maybe I'm like playing against something that is taller like uh you know uh Paraceratherium or something along those lines anyway that aside I love this design I love the texturing of the skin it looks so much like you would expect for the animal uh the ears look pretty cool I like the the tusks the tusks look fantastic and that trunk I think that they pretty much nailed it with the trunk that very much does scream Dinotherium trunk from what we've seen in most modern day reconstructions of it uh so all around fantastic design then there is also Ark Survival Evolved uh this looks so cool it's huge it's tall uh, I like the shape of the head I like the texturing of the skin um, the trunk looks pretty good too. The, the tusks look pretty good and it has like small amounts of hair on the back of its head, which I also really like. It is a very much a possibility that like modern day elephants, uh, other proboscideans like Dinotherium could have had some sparse hair. So I, I do like seeing that here, you know, it adds a lot of depth to it. It, it makes it feel a lot more natural and, uh, yeah, I, I just like it. I think that the, I think this is Ark Survival Ascended. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of those, those you know, first mods that were just, that were added to the official game, which that's always really cool. I love the fact that they do that. That's what they did with Dinosuchus. That Dinosuchus, of course, looked fantastic. And this right here looks fantastic. Let me see if I can find who made the mod. If it was a mod first, I'm going to find that out. By Garuga123, and it's Additions Ascended Dinotherium. And I believe it was officially added to the game, uh, which again, that's just, that's cool. I like the fact that they did that. I think that's I think that's a good way to handle mods, you know, it's especially really cool looking mods, which the Dinotherium is. And that right there is it. That is the last of the Dinotherium in media, unless I'm completely missing something, which is, of course, always a possibility. If I am, be sure to let everybody know in the comment section down below. But nonetheless, still a very, very interesting animal. It's just strange. It, it, there's, like I mentioned to mentioned before, there's a lot of elephant relatives that are just weird like dinotherium's a fantastic um well I, I guess weird compared to what we already have which is modern day elephants but if you really think about it aren't modern day elephants kind of like strange and extraordinary animals you know they've you have like this huge animal today's largest land animal that has a trunk that is able to grab things and manipulate things and you they use it to drink and things like that and it also has these really large incisors that you know are of course are tusks and have a variety of different uses that's pretty strange or just pretty extraordinary depending on the word you want to use and the reason why we often think of like extinct animals in that same vein is because they're just not around anymore. And, you know, we're used to elephants. We're used to rhinos. We're used to hippos. We're used to giraffes. Even though all of those animals are really kind of strange and kind of fit the build of a lot of extinct animals that we would often see. But the reason why we often think that extinct animals are very strange is because we don't have them around. But to be fair, platybelodon, I think, is just strange by default. Someday I should probably talk about Platybelodon. I love Platybelodon, so I'll probably add that to one of these polls one of these days. Anyway, you could, well, you could probably still consider Dinotherium weird. Like, yeah, it has tusks, which is what we're used to today, but it's like they're just on, they're on its chin like a goatee, and they just curve downwards and backwards. That's very strange, but it's also just, it's very cool. It's very cool. 
you know, I love animals like this. Elephants today, they are among my favorite extant animals. They're just really fascinating. And of course, they're animals that are, you know, at risk of extinction, which is always something that I hate. Uh, so if we can talk about even their relatives a little bit more, and they, you know, I think that it's always a, a good thing. I, I love elephants. I love these type of animals. These type of animals are just incredibly fascinating. Maybe I'll just make a, a dedicated video to, to something like that. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this was just another fun video to make. We, the new poll will probably be up tomorrow as per the schedule that's been all over the place recently. Uh, but it'll, it'll probably be up tomorrow. So be sure to vote for what you would like to see next. Um, thank you so much to all of my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I appreciate each and every one of you. On top of that, thank you so much to my channel members. You guys are also awesome. And you guys are really helping out a ton. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you're interested in becoming a patron or channel member, the links are provided down below. You'll gain access to a lot of really cool perks. And of course, you'll help me out with this channel. And I, I really appreciate each and every one of you. You. But that is pretty much all I have for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day.